Oh my god, when I was doing the footage just for the back, I'm like staring Sailor Moon in her face and I'm just like, wow, this is like where eye level is a little creepy. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to Ochiba Wolf Collection! Yay, another video! <laughs> if you happen to be brand new here, a very special welcome to you. My name is Brooke and I'm a collector who specializes in Sailor Moon. I'm also a blogger on SailorMoonFanNetwork.com, a fan site that keeps you up to date on the latest news and merchandise drops for Sailor Moon around the globe. Check the front page daily to stay in the loop. So if you're already a fan of SailorMoonFanNetwork.com, you already know all about the incredible merchandise that fun.com is coming out with for Sailor Moon. I am actually wearing one of their sweaters right now and these ramen bowls that you see before you are also available on fun.com. Fun.com is an online shop that sells officially licensed exciting and unique gifts. Their large Sailor Moon section features some items made exclusively for fun. Now that you know a little bit about fun, I want to just dive right into the merchandise. I want to talk about these really beautiful, unique ramen bowls set first. We got information on these when they went up for pre-order about two months ago. There's five total in the set, all five inner Sailor Guardians, sold separately or as a set on fun.com. They run $19.99 each, or you can save 10 bucks by buying the entire set via this listing. I wanted to do this video for you guys so I can show you guys up close and personal in 4K, potentially if you have a 4K display, each of these ramen bowls and the Sailor Moon sweaters. So you guys can decide out there if it's something that you wanna buy, collect, or use. So I hope this video is helpful. They arrived like this, I know, really freaking strange. I was expecting them to come in, you know, some sort of Sailor Moon themed box, but they're just, these cardboard boxes with just a couple of barcode stickers on there. Very plain, nothing really to talk about these boxes with. <laughs> this is the first time I have seen anything like this in the recent years where Sailor Moon is coming out with all new merchandise here in the United States. So interesting, interesting. We're gonna open up all five. So if you end up ordering all five, you're going to get all five boxes just like this. The top plastic kind of got a little bit busted. And then the ramen bowl is inside. I'm just throwing the boxes on my floor, just tossing them. It's not like the floor is unfamiliar with crap on it. I almost thought I was opening them in order. I, well, I guess I could, I have the names on all of them. Another box on the floor. It sounds so destructive, but it's just an empty box. My girl jupes, my girl jupes. You know, typically I'm a collector who really enjoys the outer packaging of items. I was so disappointed in these that, you know, they didn't make some sort of really neat packaging for these really beautiful ramen bowls. What is this? What is this? You guys are gonna hear me complain about the brown cardboard boxes forever. Are they gorgeous? Oh my gosh. Okay, so actually I was pleasantly surprised on the artwork that they chose for these ramen bowls. It's not new artwork, but it's artwork that's not overused. So it's kind of new a little bit to us, to collectors who buy almost everything. And we see a lot of the same artwork reused over and over and over. So this is super refreshing to see this artwork for the Sailor Guardians on these ramen bowls. They're 16 ounces ceramic and feature each Sailor Guardian with a delicate floral border. There are notches on both sides of the bowls to provide a convenient place for holding the chopsticks. And yes, the chopsticks are included. On the bottom, we can see they're made by the famous Just Funky. I say famous as a lot of our USA items are made by Just Funky, so a lot of us Sailor Moon fans and collectors are very familiar with the brand. We also know they are notorious notoriously known for making kitchen items hand wash only. You know, hand wash aside, these are actually pretty lovely. I think I do plan to use them and I'll be gentle when cleansing them, but I love, love, love the design of these. This is probably one of the first ramen bowls that I really did enjoy the design of it. I just think it's super beautiful. Recently, a lot of the ramen bowls have been Sailor Moon crystal based. So I'm very, very happy that these are based from the 90s anime. But those are the bowls. You guys gotta let me know what you think of them down there in the comments 
comments. Please share your feedback. I don't know if any companies are out there watching my videos and reading the comments, but you never know. So it's just good to just spill it all down there in the comments of my YouTube videos. Just let them companies know what you guys think. Like, give us your honest feedback. Plus, I'm just generally... Genuinely? <laughs> genuinely curious about what you guys like and dislike whenever they come out with new merchandise because what I like and what I like to buy can differ so please share your feedback on these bowls down there below I will also have all the links where you can buy these they are still available if that's something that you want to get go ahead and check the description for the links for these gorgeous gorgeous bowls but now I want to move on to this incredible incredible Sailor Jupiter holiday sweater oh love it so much so let me just uh move these little dudes out of the way little dudes out of the way little dudes so i'm going to give you a little history about the fun.com sailor moon holiday sweaters do you guys remember back in 2019 that's when they dropped their very very first sailor moon holiday sweater it was this one right here i'm sure some of you guys know about it especially if you followed me uh back then i spread the news everywhere about the sweater man because once i got it back in 2019 i was obsessed obsessed with the quality of the sweater it's something unique very unique because the quality really does match the price and often especially in the united states for Sailor Moon merchandise, we don't see that happening a lot, but these are quality pieces, guys, quality. Like I said, I've had this since 2019. I have worn it probably every single year, at least once around the holiday season. It's held up very nicely. Okay, so that was 2019, but fast forward to 2022, fun.com surprised all of us Sailor Moon fans and put up listings for the rest of the Inner Sailor Guardians, Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Venus. Now they are the same price. They are $49.99 each. And the cool thing is they have a wide variety of sizes. They go from extra small to 3X and they're unisex sizes too. Men, women, anybody, anybody can wear these. The quality is incredible. Now I have bought two different sizes. So the Sailor Moon one that I'm wearing right here is a size small. So it, that'll show you what the size small looks like on a five foot six inch woman. And the Sailor Jupiter one that I'm wearing right now, I actually decided that, you know what? I want a roomier sweater. I want an oversized sweater. So I ended up getting this one in a medium. Myself personally prefers the medium, especially with sweaters and hoodies. I like them a little oversized, but that's just my personal preference. I did want to state the sizes. Maybe that can help you guys out there decide what size would be good for you. They are 55% acrylic and 45% cotton. They have a rib knit neckband, sleeve cuffs, and waistband so super stretchy guys there's room to move and you know eat all the holiday pies cookies cakes you want but i ended up getting my faves sailor moon and sailor jupiter i'm so freaking excited to wear sailor jupiter for the first time well first time officially like when i go out into public or see my family or friends for the holidays i'm gonna debut this <laughs> and i'm really excited um, to, to wear them again. These are something that I feel like are so unique to the United States are these holiday sweaters. I really love them and I'm glad fun.com continued on with uh, more of the Sailor Guardians. Hey fun.com, we would love to see some outer Sailor Guardian merchandise too if you're going to end up seeing this video. I speak for us all Sailor Moon fans. I think we all agree we need more Sailor Guardian merch for the outers. I so recommend these sweaters. I feel like every Sailor Moon fan should own a ugly holiday sweater for Sailor Moon and now's your chance. You have options of all the inner Sailor Guardians, okay? So not just Sailor Moon, which, you know, they always make Sailor Moon as a character for Sailor Moon merchandise. Of course, of course. And sometimes it's rare to see the other Sailor Guardians. So you guys got your pick. You guys got your pick. Let me know down there in the comments which holiday sweater you guys would buy and wear if you had the funds and if you were gonna do it. I just gotta know. Let's let's kind of tally up a vote. You know, have some discussions down there and see which Sailor Guardian out of the five inners wins on the holiday sweaters. And y'all better vote for Jupes, okay? Jupes is my girl, she's the best. No, really, all of the Sailor Guardians are, are, are very good characters, I feel like. That's why I have a hard time picking favorites. <laughs> They're all great. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel to watch my videos, support my comment. Comment. <laughs> support my content yes i want you to leave a comment too i think my brain is like you know thinking ahead because i'm gonna be like hey leave a comment below but it said comment instead of content <laughs> no seriously though thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for coming back to uh just support my content in general you guys are absolutely amazing more 
videos are coming soon. I'm, I'm playing catch up here. I'm getting all of my projects done and out of the way. More exciting videos coming soon to the channel, guys, as well as something even cooler happening at the end of November. Well, it'll be happening at the end of November. I might not get to the content and the editing process and all the production process of it until December, but I can't wait to share what I'm doing then. So stick around for that. Love you guys so much. Stay awesome. Stay positive. Try to be happy. Mwah! Kisses for you all. We'll see you guys next time. Now to get out of this, I have to rethink this area. This is not functional. Not functional. Like my butt is hitting everything. And then this little tight corner. No, 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 no. Time to make them look beautiful. Let me get my glasses on so I can see babies. Oh, this is inconvenient. Does that look cute? Ooh. Oh, good lord. Oh, I feel like I need like one thing right here. Actually, no, it looks pretty badass. Oh, big booty trying to get through. Big booty. Big booty trying to get through. It's me, I'm Big Buddha. Literally, I'm crammed. I'm gonna have to... I'm still figuring out how I'm gonna learn to film in this environment with the new table and me crunched up behind these dudes back here. Whew. God, I'm so sorry for that. Something was making a noise over there and I'm supposed to be the only one in this room, so um, I'm gonna just try to remain calm and just continue on. Pretend like nothing creepy is happening over there. Fantastic. Fantastic! Oh God, not fantastic. Oh God, here we go again. Big booty, big booty back.